Hey everyone, it's me Charmelaine, and I'm back for another episode of Let's Play Undertale. So, here we are in the ruins, and last episode we had a dangerous encounter with Undyne, so let's see what happens now. And we already been to that shop, so let's go ahead and keep moving. Yay, more good music. There's only one way to reverse spell. Destroyed, yes, yes, lots of spells and destruction and whatnot. And here's the maze. So yeah, I'm just gonna skip to where I was in the last episode, so give me one second. Okay, so here I am, and yes, this is the scene where we got terrified by Undyne. And let's go ahead and keep on moving. Whoa, lots of flowers. Lots of echo flowers. You hear a passing conversation. Yay, we get to hear the rest of this story. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? You're a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Three dollars says he laughs. You're a passing conversation. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the whole world all around. That's my wish. You're... Laughter. Wow. C called it. You guys all owe me three dollars. JK. Hey. You said you wouldn't laugh at it. You're passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. Aw, oh, that's sad. However, there is a prophecy. The angel. The one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. Hmm. But as we saw with, like, as we heard with, like, the turtle guy, that has a double meaning. Yo! Oh, hey, monster kid. Be careful there. Yeah. Be careful. Hey, you're looking at the camera. That's nice. Say hi to the camera. Yo! I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean to me so I can hate you. No, please. No. Yo, what? So I have to do it. Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Oh, no! Man, I'm such a turd. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Eat some ice cream and stuff. Ah! Ah! Yo, well, wait, help! I tripped! Wait. How are you hanging on to that? If you're using your mouth, I'm guessing, but then how are you talking so clearly? That's not the question. What are you standing for? Get over here, dude! Oh, okay, sorry. I got gotcha. you. Sorry for diddle daddling. Yes, that word. Butchered it, but whatever. Get the meaning. Yeah, yeah. Yo, dude! If. If. You want to hurt my friend. You're gonna have to get through me first. Yeah, that's right, Undyne. Back off. Back away. Friends. The power of friendship. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> well, just have to be friends then instead. Man, I should really go home. But my parents are worried sick about me. I'm out, yo. See ya. Later, dude. See ya, monster kid. Oh, that happened. Something tells me we haven't seen the last of Undyne. Oh, yes, yeah, something tells me greatly. Oh, also, something I wanted to say is my friend Masterplan1300 is also doing an LP of Undertale, but in genocide. So if you want to check that out, you can check out his channel. And I'll put it like a... Um, link in the description as such. And let's go ahead and keep on. Here we go. Seven. Seven human souls 
and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as it's customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago in a land. Wait, no, that's the wrong story. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Yeah! Goodness, I'm dying on down. Oh my, you revealed her face. You! You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams. Alphys' history books made me think humans were cool with their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you! You're just a coward hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoe stick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would not be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding in for one. Everyone's been waiting for this whole blur, blur, screw it up language. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. Wait, I'm not Jabanyan. Right now! I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> that laugh, though. Well, guess it's time to face Undyne, but first, gotta say with the most determined noise I can make, the wind is howling. You're filled with DETERMINATION! Time to get epic. That's it, then. No more running away? Here I come. Oh my. Oh, she turned me green. UNGUARD! Undyne attacks. Act. Undyne. Let's check. Undyne. Attack. 50. Defense. 20. The heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. Face danger head on. I see what you mean there. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the fist with the ground. But the other way around, actually. Okay, we're going to... Spare. Not bad. Then how about this? That wasn't too bad. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Don't get impatient, Undyne. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. There we go. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fist. There she goes, she said it right. And now, sunlight is just within our region. There goes the voice again. The Jabanyan voice. Got it. Undyne points heroically toward the sky. I won't let you snatch it away from us. I can help you guys. You don't have to take me out just to get your freedom. Undyne bounces impatiently. Yeah! Enough warming up. Oh my. There. No! That was a cheap shot, Undyne. That was really, really cheap. Undyne holds her fist in front of her hair and shakes her head, even though that's not in front of her. Whatever, whatever. Um, okay. Spare. Mercy? Ha! I still can't believe you want to spare me! Of all the nerve! Okay, that wasn't too bad. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Spare. But even if I spared you... What about even if you spared me? Oh, gosh. Goodness gracious. Ah! Hey, I'm actually doing really good in this boss fight. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Oh, really, Undyne? Here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and spare again. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. 
Oh, really now? Oh, uh, God! And I think of her friend, she pounds the ground with her fist. Oh, going silent now, are you? Oh my. Spare. So stop being so resilient! I can be as resilient as I want! No, don't kill me! Ah! Okay. I gotta heal. Let's eat some... Not Tim Flakes. We learned from that mistake. CT. What are humans even made of? This is ridiculous! Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's flee. Yep. I'm running. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No, no, no. Oh, my. Oh, no. You've escaped from me for the last time. I think we just made Undyne very angry. I was told me humans were determined. She did, did she? Oh! She draws her finger across her neck. Oh, she's mad. I see what she meant by that. There we go. And there. But I'm determined too. I know that Undyne, you're very determined. Oh boy. Determined to end this right now. I need to heal. Let's eat the... Wait. What do I... Clouded glasses. Let's equip that. You equip the cloud... The glasses. Right now! Goodness, I'm dying. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Aw, oh, man. Wow. I lost. Oh, well. Don't lose hope. Timmy, stay determined. Oh, that was doing so good. Let's dance, Undyne. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come! Yeah! Okay, so I'm just gonna skip to where I was, so give me a moment. Alright, I'm back. You won't get away from me this time! Oh my. You sure about that, Undyne? Do I have this equipped? Equip the glasses. Good. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor! Yes, because defeating me and taking my soul is a great favor on dying. Not really. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Okay, just gotta be careful here. There we go. And I draw the finger. Killing you now with an act of mercy. Oh, no, 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 no. And I hold her fists. So stop being so resilient. Go! And... Flee. I'm out. Bye, Undyne. I'm out! I'm out! Oh, man. You escaped from me for the last time! You said that last time! Alpha told me humans were determined. Goodness, you're forcing me to just hear your little tale, aren't you? See now what she meant by that. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Go ahead, could you go ahead and turn me back red, please? Oh, this, this attack. I gotta heal. CT! Determined to end this right now! Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Right now! Gotta be careful in this. There. Right now. Okay. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh my. Do I have anything to heal with? I need to buy some more healing items. Goodness gracious, this is ridiculous. I'm just gonna eat the Tim Flake. Eat the Tim Flake. You recover 2 HP. Ha ha. I know you're laughing. I'm eating Tim Flakes to get health. 
That's how you know I ain't got no money. That's what I do. I just need to buy stuff. Yeah, die already, you little brat. Oh, no. Okay, this is... Ah! Oh, oh, no! How did I live that? Okay. Clouded glasses for the win. I'm out of here on dying. I am out. Somebody, oh, I'm getting out of here. Ring. Hey, what's up? Wait, no, this is not your voice. <clears throat> yeah! I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Um, are you sure about that? Let's meet up at our house later. Oh, gosh, Papyrus. Please don't. Stop running away! Oh, no. I'm out. I'm out. Flee. I'm out. Bye, bye Undyne. I'm out of here. Fans, help me! Wow. She's getting mad. <laughs> Fans, how could you be so lazy? Oh. Armor so hot. But I can't give up. Ugh. Well, why did you run it? I guess you're very determined. You know you're like a fish monster lady. You ran in here knowing it's very hot. Here's some water for you. You want to die in the water? Sure. No, just say no and drinks it right in her face. Wow, that's just mean. Um, and... HP fully restored! And she's just looking. Say hi to the camera, Undyne. Walks away. Yay! Well, let's go back and check on Sans. Oh, he's gone. Oh, well. Sans, what were you even doing? Well, of course, you were taking a nap. But who decides to take a nap in a volcano area? Volcanic area. Okay. And let's go ahead and save. Seeing such a strange laboratory in place like this, you're filled with... Hmm. Determination. Okay. Oh, and there's these... These knights. Sorry, Undyne. Like, told us you were totally a human in this area. Even though that's not what she said exactly, but whatever. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah. Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. And he's just silent. Hi. Hi, Phoenix and Ferb. Oh, it's the Grim Reaper. Hi, Grim! Hi. Tralala, I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? Doesn't really matter. I want to ride in my boat. Would you gather join me? Ride in my boat? Uh, not right now. Then perhaps another time. Or perhaps not. It doesn't really matter. But in the end, it doesn't even... Oh, okay. Ugh. Ooh, looks like we're being... Whoa. Somebody is stalking me. From a TV screen! I knew I was on a reality TV show all along! Can't fool me. Hmm. I see some pet food, it looks like. Oh my gosh, is that dinosaur from Barney? Or maybe not. Uh, oh, my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. So messy. Eh, eh. Are you okay? Um. Uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. <laughs> your friends. Your fights. Everything! I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. So, so uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. You know, Alphys, I know someone else that's smart, too. A certain round, pinkish fellow. Likes to ride on a star. Eh. I know a lady right to Asgore's castle. No problem. Well... Actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, 
I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, built him to be an entertainment robot. Um, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Don't ask me why. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti- anti-human combat features. Nothing much. Of c course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features right away! Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood! <laughs> but, um, hopefully we don't run into him. Oh no, you just jinxed it. Thanks, Alphys. Did you hear something? Nah, it's probably just a mini earthquake. Oh no. <clears throat> oh yes! Welcome, beauties! Oh my. Oh my. To today's quiz show! And here he is, Metaton, everybody! Can we get a round of applause? Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show, everybody. Everyone, give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Yay. Never played before? Gorgeous! No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Well, Metaton attacks. Well, here we go. Okay, let's, um, spare. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Um, let's say D. Thanks, Alphys, for the answer. Right, sounds like you get it. Next question is... Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? His name is Asgore Dreamer. Correct. What a terrific answer. The show continues next. Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Oh, of course, metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Here's another essay, one for you. Um, two trains, blah 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 blah. I'm just gonna say D. Wonderful, I'm astounded, folks! Quiz show continues. What happens if I cry? Screaming is against the rules! Don't count on your victory! How many flies are in this jar? Um, I'm gonna say 50 now! Completely utterly wrong! Takes half your HP. Quiz show continues! Screaming is against the rules! Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? Oh, of course it's Froggit. No. Metaton. I see you putting on a Froggit t-shirt. Quiz show continues. Spare. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Uh, sure, why not, I guess. Great answer. I love it. Wow, the music changed. <laughs> Boom. Do -do 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 music. Quiz show continues. Here's a simple one. How many letters are in my name? Metaton. Of course that was easy for you. Quiz show continues. Time to break the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Millie 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 with Mew Mew's favorite food. Oh, oh, I know. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and just eat bites ice cream and just snail flavor. Everyone is great. And this is the favorite part because it's actually a very important message about friendship and... Uh... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Um, I'm dying. See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even a human figured it out. Yes, she crawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of crutch? 101%. Mm, 
Margin of error, 1%. Equals 100%. Well, well, well. But Dr. Alf is helping you. The show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but... But... This was just a pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. I'm out, suckers. Peace. And there goes Metaton. Mmm, that was awkward. Well, that was certainly something. Yes, it was. Look, that last question. He wasn't su supposed to ask that one. Wait, how do you know what he was supposed to ask or not? Hmm. Well, wait! Let me give you my the phone number. Th then maybe if you need help, I could. Look, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Ah! Well, wait a second, please. Okay. What the world are you doing back there? Here. I upgraded it for you. It can do texting items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now, we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Well, this was awkward. Hey, you know what else is awkward? Right now, I'm stopping the episode. Yes! Um, I hope y'all enjoyed, and see you all next time.